today I'm going to show you how to make homemade regatta cheese with your Instant Pot. So you can either use a glass top pot that fits on top, like this Instant Pot brand one that I bought on Amazon, or you can use your regular Instant Pot top. So I have the Instant Pot Duo here. Okay, and if you're going to use the top that came with your Instant Pot, just make sure it's locked and then just turn it to venting. So we're not gonna have it on sealed because we're not sealing because we're not pressure cooking. We're gonna be using the yogurt setting. Okay, so I'm going to use the glass top today. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you need three ingredients. You need eight cups of milk, you need a third a cup of lemon, and you need a quarter teaspoon of salt. Okay, and the salt is optional. So what we're going to do first is we're going to put in the milk. So I have a half gallon, so I have eight cups right here. And it says not, the recipe says not to use ultra pasteurized milk. Uh, I'm lactose intolerant, so my lactose free milk here is ultra pasteurized. So I'm going to see what happens if I make it. They say it won't make curds, but we'll see. Okay, so just pour that into your instant pot. And then all we're going to work with at first is the milk, okay? The lemon and the salt are going to come later. So once I have the milk poured in, I'm going to put the top on. Remember to lock it and turn it to venting if you're using the other top. So I'm going to find the yogurt setting. My Instant Pot, can you see that? Find the yogurt setting and get it to boil. Okay, and then I'm just going to let it start to cook. And it's going to sense on its own when it's done and it's the right temperature. So we're going to leave it there and we'll time it and see how long that takes. In the meantime, if you don't have your lemons squeezed, you can use lemon juice or you can use citric acid. Um, you can get your quarter teaspoon of salt ready. I already did that so they're all ready to go. I have a trivet right by my Instant Pot because we're going to take the inner pot out when it's done cooking. And then we're gonna add the lemon juice in. Okay. And you can also make this on the stove or you can make it um, in a slow cooker. I think it's, it's just faster to do it on the Instant Pot. So you're also gonna need some cheesecloth or a coffee filter, or paper towels, or something uh, that you can have in the strainer and ready to go so that you can get the whey to drain through. Now, if you want to keep the whey, you can put something underneath and then store it later. You can use the whey for things as a substitute for um, buttermilk, um, things you would do with that if you want, otherwise you're just going to toss it. Okay, so now because I have the glass pot lid, I can see, you know, what's going on inside there. And the milk is just kind of bubbly waiting for it to boil still. If you have an Instant Pot that doesn't have a yogurt setting, you can um, just use the saute setting, and then just when it gets to be um, about 190 degrees, um, then you can you know stop it. Um, you might need to get a thermometer to check it then. Um, this is supposed to bring it to the right temperature, the yogurt setting, so that we don't even have to check it with a thermometer, which is nice. It makes it easy. The salt we're going to use later. That's going to come at the end after we've drained the regatta cheese. If you want the salt, we're just going to stir it in the end before we store it in a container. So I'm just going to get out a container here. I like to store mine in a container that's about the size of the one that you would get in the store. Um, and so this is not going to make 
um, exactly, you know, eight cups, it's going to make more like, you know, maybe like 14 ounces or so the last time I made it. Um, my recipe called for 15 ounces, so somewhere around there. We'll see how much I get today. Okay, so we're just waiting for the uh, regatta cheese to finish boiling. It should say yogurt since we're using the yogurt center setting when it's finished. Um, I didn't want you guys to have to sit here and wait through the whole entire thing, so I started the video recording again the closer it got to yogurt. So since I'm using the glass top, I can see that it's all steamy on the top of the glass. You can see that. So we should be getting somewhere near the temperature we need to be at soon. Hopefully. I can even lift up the top to check it out because I have the glass top. Now, Instant Pot sells ones that fit the top of your pot. This is the six quart duo. Um, they sell them through their website or you can buy them on Amazon. So it was just convenient for me to get it through Amazon because I was ordering other things. And so that's where I got mine. I would just be careful. Some people try to use their own pot top that fits, which is fine. I would just advise don't use one if it's a glass top. Um, that is bigger at all than the pot because um, a lot of times with glass you know it will then can explode um, which happened to me on the stove once when I grabbed a top that didn't fit so just be careful about that I did not have a pot top that fits the instant pot so that's another reason I ordered the instant pot My Instant Pot just beeped, although it didn't say yogurt yet. Usually it says yogurt, I think. I'm not sure if it's ready. Let's give it a couple more minutes, I think. We are up to, that was about 27 minutes so far. So it's not really any faster than doing it on the stove. I think they say it takes about a half hour on the stove. So maybe this will say yogurt when it's done. Um, Give it a few more minutes since it's not. Doing anything. <laughs> Let's wait and see. <laughs> so. At about 30 minutes, it should be. Saying over. I think that's what we want. just says when the cooking time is up. So there isn't really any cooking time. I don't know. I didn't really give it any time. Give it a few more minutes. Okay, so my Instant Pot beeped. And now it says yogurt. So I'm going to take a towel here underneath it just to try to keep any condensation. It's kind of hard to do. I'm going back into the pot. And then from there, I'm going to just take the inner pot out and put it on a trivet. And then I'm going to add the lemon juice to it. And that was a third a cup. And then I'm just going to stir it. And you don't need to stir it for that long. You can stir it for about 30 seconds. I'm just going to shut my instant pot off since I removed the pot. And you just want to start seeing uh, the curd separate from the whey. Yeah, so you just start to see bright white chunks of curd and liquid yellowish whey. So I can definitely see the curd because it's getting stuck on the sides here. I'll show you of the pot. I don't know if you can see it there. 
better. And then from there, you're just gonna let it sit. So don't stir it too much or it's gonna get grainy. You only need to do it for about 30 seconds. And then you can just sit there and wait. So this recipe says to wait for five minutes. And sometimes it takes longer than that for me, um, but we'll see. Usually, you know, you want to start it to see it look like ricotta cheese a bit. And then when you drain it, um, you know, the liquid will come out. I'm just going to let it sit for a bit. Okay, so it's been five minutes. So I'm just going to check it. Okay, let's see if we can see this. So it is separating. I'm gonna let it sit longer though for another five minutes. I think the last couple of times I made this, I did it for about 10 minutes. I think for our five more minutes. So now we let it sit for about 10 minutes. So I'm just going to take my pot over to my sink. Okay. And if you can see, liquid milk there and the solid so we're gonna pour it into my cheesecloth and my strainer now you can put a bowl a large bowl underneath if you want to catch the way especially if you're gonna save it looks like that. And bubble in a little bit in the middle. So we're just going to let it see. And I can see already the solids there separating from the liquid. So we'll just give it five minutes. So if you want moist, creamy regatta, you can give it five minutes. If you want firmer regatta, you can leave it for, to drain for anywhere up to four hours. So I'm not going to leave mine that long. I'll leave it five minutes and see where it's at. And then, you know, I can make a decision then. Okay, so it's been five minutes. And I'll just show you. This is the way. So I did have a bowl under for a little bit to show you guys. I'm just going to put that aside. Okay. And now you can see. my ricotta cheese. So you can see that a lot of the whey has drained away. So that's after five minutes. So I can see a little bit of moisture in the middle, still a little bit, not too bad, but I think I'm gonna let it sit just a little bit longer. So I'll check back in again in five minutes. Okay, so that's the end of our additional five minutes. So I let it sit now for 10 minutes. You can see, I think that's good. You don't need it really firm. So I'm just gonna try to take it out of the cheesecloth here and put it in an airtight container. And kind of roll it into the middle maybe kind of scoop it out without it sticking to the cheesecloth as much. Okay, so here's my regatta cheese. I'm going to put it in this plastic container which has measurements on the side which is nice so I'll be able to see about how much we made here with a half a gallon of whole milk. What do we got so far? Let's see. Here's my cups. All right, so my 
two cup is where my finger is here. We're getting there. So it's the perfect amount if you have a recipe like Bake CD that calls for like a 15 ounces of ricotta cheese or 16 ounces. what it looks like and yep it's about 16 ounces there maybe a little bit more even there's a little bit left in the cheese cloth just to get out all right so then I'm going to put my top on a little ziploc top okay and I'm gonna put it in my refrigerator and then when I'm ready to use it, I can take it out and make my big CD or whatever you want to make with it. Okay, so that's how to make homemade ricotta cheese in the Instant Pot. But remember, if you don't have an Instant Pot, you can just make it on the stove or you can make it in a slow cooker. So it's not really any faster to do it in the Instant Pot because we aren't actually pressure cooking like we would with another meal. But I just like to use the Instant Pot and do everything in one pot. So it's a nice option to have. Okay, until next time. So we're not really done yet because I forgot to add salt. So I'm just going to stir in the salt, the ricotta cheese. If you want the salt, like I said, it's optional. My daughter likes salt a lot, so we're going to put the salt in. Okay, and you can just mix it up as much as you want. Spread it around. Okay, and now I can put it in the refrigerator. <laughs> So now I'm really leaving this time.